nearby the places or uh, which places is an idea. What do you think when you are towards uh, slum? Uh, the first thing which touch my mind is easier poor people. Mm -hmm. Okay, just forward my question. Yes. Why do you think that slums are located in which area? Uh, nearby that, nearby that. Yes. City? Okay. City? 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 Urban area. Urban area, city areas, okay. So, the first factor behind creating a lot of slums in our India is rural urban migration. If we have a proper employment in each and every part of India or our nation, whether the part belongs to an urban area or a rural area. So the people who belongs from rural areas, they don't need to migrate, they don't need to leave their homes just for searching employment, just for fulfilling their basic needs they require to maintain their family. So, if the government should start proper employment in rural areas, if the government should start proper schooling facilities in rural areas, and government should start proper hospital medical facilities in rural areas, if the government should give proper employment, and the government should create proper employment in rural areas, the people belongs from a rural areas don't need to move out from their rural areas to urban areas. So maybe you all clear this factor. But but uh, by, uh, but the government have not uh, but not but government have not provide all people all urban peoples uh, job because they have not any. So same way I say, same way I have spoken spoken sorry that the government is a very lack you know employment in urban areas or rural areas. So if the government should supply proper facilities to rural areas, a very big data, a very big people percentage, those are migrated from rural to urban areas and they are creating their slums in urban areas. Do you know the reason behind that? Why the rural people creating their slums in urban areas? Because whenever they were searching their jobs, and migrates from their rural area to urban area. They have, some of them may have very less skills. Some of them may, did not get their proper jobs due to the reason of very high competitive competition in jobs. And we all know that why there is a lot of competition for a, even a private job, even a job for a peon. Because our country is ranked one or two on population. So the government should also, you know, advertise aware people that overpopulation is very harmful for our citizens also, our nation. So government should, you know, like uh, spread their knowledge to rural areas. Government should start some campaigns in rural or urban areas or in each and every part of our country so that people should start aware and they all know the dangerous course behind the overpopulation we are facing right now. Overpopulation. Okay, third factor, politics. As both of you discussed that we have a very biggest slum in our country called Dharavi. And the net worth of this slum is, you both of you have said, one, one billion? One million. And so, politicians, you know, they can, they can, you know, see their profit only. If these earning of one billion, government should invest on this Dharavi, then all the slums of Dharavi is now converted into very big houses. And even the slums are not maybe converted in big houses, but the slums were removed from this area permanently if the politicians should start their work in an honest way. 
so politicians are the major factor behind the slums in our country other factor have you all noticed that we have a lot of labor laborers from bihar in every state even there is a famous dialogue in our india that you can bihari anywhere in in any part of our country we have biharis in punjab we have biharis in haryana we have biharis in delhi and so on so and even we have biharis in you know lakshwadi and in manipur island also so if the government should give proper facilities or should proper capital income to the laborers so they don't need to migrate migrate from their places to other places in our country i heard from my friend that there is only 300 or 400 labor charge is given to the people so that's why the people or the laborers were migrated from their state to another states because they did not get their proper you know a uh, proper income wages wages so that's why they are searching their labor works in other parts of our states okay another factor we have a lack of public transportation because those people who are very poor and suppose they have their employment location is very far away from their home so they don't they need to some public transports but the government should not have a proper public transport systems in every part of our nation even in rural areas the government should not have a proper schedulization for their public transportations like buses even the bus in some rural areas of our country the buses are not come the people should have to you know move out walk out from their own fields to reach in the locations of cities so government should also start some public transportations and you know there is a lack of public transportations the people who belongs from a poor family they have to build slums from the walking distance of their employment location so that factor also increases our number of slums in our country okay another factor lack of honesty if the people if the politicians or if the government officers should start their duty start their job in a very you know helpful way in a very honest way so they are able to reduce slums in our country and another last factor that i have noticed that the boy one of you is talked about you know women trafficking of you of you also even i also saw there are very you know red light areas in our country and they form a small colonies there there are a lot of number of slums were located in the form of a you know colonies and the condition was very you know harmful not good because they have a lot of criminals they have a lot of drug dealers they have a lot of bagger dealers they have a lot of you know any kind of unwanted activities is happening there so the government should aware so government should start searching government should need to work on all these factors after that we have you know very less slums was remained in our india that's all